Traditional spaceflight hardware development timelines are measured in order of years. We were given uh, six months to take Robonaut from its lab environment and to get it qualified for the space station by September. And actually, it's not even by September. We have an on-dock date at KSC of July 2nd. Robonaut was designed to be a human assistant, just kind of the same way a nurse would be to a doctor in an operating room. So you can think of Robonaut as, as helping a human worker set up a work site, tear down a work site, hand them a tool, please hold this for a while. And so we want to use Robonaut in the same exact way uh, in the space station and help the crew out in, in a lot of those same uh, types of capacities. We're interested in showcasing the technologies that, co that comprise Robonaut. And chief among those is the dexterity that Robonaut possesses. And so what we'd like to uh, demonstrate with that is Robonaut's ability to uh, utilize the same connectors, the same tools, and, and do the same sorts of tasks that the astronauts can do on the space station in a way to aid them. So we're going to control Robonaut on the space station using a space station laptop. And the ground controllers here on the ground are going to be logged into that laptop, issuing commands to the robot to perform its activities. One of the main challenges that we faced getting Robonaut uh, to fly on the International Space Station has been taking a fully developed piece of prototype hardware and, and getting it qualified to meet the rigors of spaceflight. This has involved uh, analyzing the system from a materials point of view, from a circuits point of view, from a mechanics point of view, um, and, and, and figuring out what it is we had to change on the system so that it would be qualifiable for the rigors of spaceflight. EMI is electromagnetic interference, and so what you have to do is you do two kinds of testing. You, you look for EMI and EMC, and EMC is electromagnetic compatibility. When you're a payload, or when you have a piece of hardware on the space station, you need to be sure that you don't interfere with the hardware that's on station, or that you don't inter get interfered with in a way that causes you to create a hazardous condition. And so what every payload has to do, or every piece of hardware that's powered has to do uh, as when, before it goes up on the space station, or if it's powered on the shuttle for that matter, has to go through a certain set of, uh, of, of EMI EMC tests. One of the tests we have to perform when getting the robot ready for the rigors of spaceflight is simulating, in a very real sense, the vibration environment of a shuttle flight. And this involves mounting Robonaut in its cargo carrier on a vibration table and shaking it in a way that would simulate launch. Uh, Robonaut launches on STS-133 which is on uh, September 16th, I believe, uh, ULF-5. And our idea for Robonaut is to initially get it up on the space station and have it prove out a lot of the, the, the same sort of tasks we've been doing here on the ground. It's going to be in a stationary uh, it's going to be in a stationary format. We're, the, the robot's going to be hard mounted with a stanchion to a seat track assembly. And so the robot's going to be set up by the astronauts and perform its task, be torn down and stored. So the robot was designed on a very, in a very modular way. So you can replace an arm, you can replace a hand, you can replace a limb, um, you can replace a head. And so that, this affords us the opportunity to fly up individual pieces or individual parts of the robot that are approved for its next stages in life. For example, we could fly up an arm or a set of arms that are EVA arms. We could fly up a body that's an EVA body. And so we can replace the robot over time um, to, to, to make it meet the rigors of, of an EVA environment. Our second stage um, of, of the robot's life on the space station is going to involve uh, a mobility package, which is going to involve a leg that it, that it can use to move around the space station. And so the third stage of this is going to be a um, an EVA package. So we're going to be upgrading the robot through through the course of its life over the next couple of years and we're going to get the robot outside. 